I did a video on this horse a couple of weeks ago, a week or two ago, and we were working cows and she was not getting off of my left leg very good. We would stop and when we would need to come back to the right with the cow, she just wasn't moving off my left leg like she needed to. So I'm gonna be schooling that with her here. I also have a couple of other things I need to be working on in the process of moving her shoulders better she needs to get a little bit more responsive to my legs in general moving her shoulders and moving her hips this horse has a tendency to kind of get dull so I spent a lot of time kind of waking her back up getting her back getting off of aids getting off my legs getting off reins she'll bring her chin in to kind of evade the bit and it, it kind of looks nice but when you ride and you can tell it just don't feel right so right now I'm walking a circle I'm asking her to move off of my right leg I have contact with the right rein right there she kind of hung I'm gonna give her a little tap and then I'm gonna go back to a little push off of my right leg she just has a tendency to get dull to it I hear people say, well, I'm not ever going to ride with spurs because I don't want my horse to be dependent on spurs. Well, the thing about that is it isn't the spurs themselves that makes the horse dependent. It's the person that was using the spurs just not really making the horse be responsive to the cue. And what this horse does, she'll let that happen if you let her. I'll put a little bit of cue on her and she just kind of hangs. I have to bump her off of that cue a little bit. When I put any aid on a horse, leg, rein, anything, I expect a nice soft response. She needs to get off of my leg. So I'm gonna take a nice easy push and then I'm gonna give a little bump, ask her to move over, then I'll release when she actually moves over. That. Now you see there, I, I bumped her off of that aid and she went on and stepped around nice. That's what I need. If you don't ever bump them off, keep that cue nice and responsive. Then it's just going to continually get duller and duller. So let's ask again. Move off the right leg. See, she just she stopped her movement. I'm going to pound on her a little bit, bump on her a little bit. That is not acceptable not going to let you just kind of lay into the cue. This horse has been one right from the beginning, kind of had a temper and had a no kind of personality. And we've been working through that and it's, it's exponentially better. But this is that one little piece of remnant that's hanging from her with that little bit of a no personality. She still, there we go. She still wants to see if I'm gonna make her. It's not bad and I don't have to be hard with her, but there we go. I've gotta let her know that yes, I do expect you to do what I'm asking you to do. I really do expect that. I'm not just asking to sit here and ask. There we go, there we go. Footfall isn't exactly what it needs to be there, but she's not leaning against my cue. That's one of the things that's kind of hampered bringing the spin along. She'll kind of lay against the cue, lay against the leg if you let her, and you have to just kind of keep reminding her. Keep reminding her. I do really mean it. going to step around to the left there we go that's just off of rain but then she kind of got sluggish little tap with my leg now just off of rain it's getting sluggish little tap off of rain getting sluggish there we go keep going keep going A 
little top off my rain. Little top. And then walk forward out of it. This is the kind of horse that will give you all she's got, everything she has, if she knows you expect it. But she's also the kind of horse that's going to only give you what you ask for. This is the kind of horse that works really good for a person that's learning how to show because she's only going to give you what you ask for. There we go. Now let's go on to something similar moving the hip over. I've been working lead changes with this horse and she gets, she changes a pretty fair percentage of the time. But if she don't change, it's because she's not getting off of my leg here. So what I want to do, I'm going to slide my right leg back behind the back girth and I'm going to push that hip over. We have to keep going forward. Push the hip over, push the hip into the left. Now here I'm actually going to go into what would be a counter canter if I was cantering. My body, keep going, my body is saying left lead, but we're going to the right. Keep going, go forward, I need forward. Go back to asking, right leg, push the hip to the left off my right leg, keep going forward. Got to have forward. That's that. Seeing if I'm really going to make her. Push the hip out. Push the hip out. You're really dull off that leg. I'm going to have to go back and work on that. See what she gets off of my left leg. She's trying to move her shoulders off of my leg. There we go. Trying to move her shoulders. Not releasing the cue. She's just kind of pushing through. She's not yielding her hip over like I'm asking. Not gonna release till she gives me what I'm asking for. Not gonna release. She stops her forward. I'm gonna use my right leg to get her to go on, to go keep going forward. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. Just the hip. Just the hip. You know what I'm asking for. There, good girl. Good girl. Now that's nice again. Move off my right leg. It'd be different if this was a horse that I was teaching this to. This horse knows what I'm asking for. There we go. Let's do it again. I'm not going to teach this to a horse. There we go. In the same way that I'm going to reprimand this horse, because this horse knows what I'm asking for. This horse knows how to move her hips. She's been doing that a long time. But like I said in her personality, she kind of has that, well, you're going to have to make me personality. So she's kind of decided that, there we go. She's kind of decided that I'm going to have to make her. Move your hip. Move your hip. I don't want backwards. Don't want backwards. It's not what I'm asking for. Not what I'm asking for. Move your hip. There, good girl. Not asking for backup. Move your hip. Move your hip. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. Try this again. There we go. This has been done a lot with this horse. She's actually really good with her leads and hitting probably 75% of her lead changes. It's just that her personality, sometimes she decides that I'm going to have to make her do a certain thing on a certain day, and that's what she picked today. Move your hip. 
Move your hip. Not asking for back. Not asking for forward. Move your hip. Move your hip over. Move your hip over. Good girl. Good girl. Now back to the left. There we go. Sure, I'm going to get some flack on this video about people telling me that I need to back up and work it from the beginning. But you have when you're riding your horse, you have to know what your horse knows. And you can have an opinion about this horse. And you maybe you would have worked it different. But I know what this horse knows. And I'm going to scold her for not giving me what I know she knows. You don't want to scold your horse for not giving them what you what they know? That's fine. That's going to lead to other problems down the road that you'll have to deal with. This is Bug. I'll put a link up here to some other videos that I've done with her. Until next time, thank you for watching.